fifth day grade six learners and welcome to our happy mathematics class please click the subscribe button and like this video thank you hello grade six good day once again and welcome back to our happy mathematics class for today's video we will be dividing simple fractions dividing fractions is just about as easy as multiplying them. The knowledge in finding the reciprocal is applicable in dividing fractions. In dividing fractions, we are looking for the reciprocal of the divisor and applying the concept in multiplying fractions. Okay, so let us have an example and let us try to do it step by step. We have 3 over 8. Divided by 2 fifth. So the first step is to copy the first fraction or the dividend. So kukopyahin natin yung 3 over 8. For step 2, change the division sign to multiplication. So yung division, gagawin natin times. For step 3, we are going to get the reciprocal of the divisor. Kapag sinabi natin reciprocal, ang gagawin lang natin ay pagpapalitin yung posisyon ng numerator at denominator. So yung 2, magpupunta sa baba at yung 5 naman sa taas. So magiging 5 over 2. 5 over 2 is the reciprocal of 2 over 5. Then, for step 4, we, now, we are now going to multiply or apply the process of multiplication of fractions. So that will be equal to 3 times 5 is equal to 15 over 8 times 2 is equal to 16. And then finally, for step 5, we have to simplify or reduce to lowest term or express our answer to lowest term. And if the answer is an improper fraction, we have to convert it to mixed number. In this particular example, 15 over 16, proper fraction na siya, at it is already in the lowest term. So, the final answer is 15 over 16. Let us have another example here. 10 over 21 divided by 2 over 7. So, kagaya ng kanina, step 1, copy the first fraction, that is 10 over 21. Then step 2, change the division sign to multiplication. Ayan. Step 3, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So yung 2 over 7 magiging 7 over 2. Then let us multiply. So dito pwede tayong gumamit ng cancellation. We can cancel 10 and 2 by dividing them both by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 and 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. We can also cancel 21 and 7. Their common factor is 7. So 21 divided by 7 is 3 and 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. So let us multiply the remaining numbers. 5 times 1 is equal to 5 and 3 times 1 is equal to 3 and then for the last part simplify or reduce the lowest term or in this particular case the answer is an improper fraction so we have to convert it to mixed number so paano ulit that is equal to 5 divided by 3 is equal to 1 mayroon tayong remainder na 2 and then copy the denominator 3. So our final answer is 1 and 2 third. Yun po yung ating quotient. So sana naintindihan ninyo yung ating simpleng lesson for today. And that's all. Hanggang sa susunod na video. God bless and goodbye.